Hey everybody, it's Jen from Scan and Cut Jam Sessions and Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. Um, we've had quite a few questions about scanning. Okay, I am using the CM650W, which is the new Scan and Cut 2. Okay, but um, this is actually achievable on the Scan and Cut 1. You can save your scan as a JPEG and you can save it as an FCM depending on what buttons you push. Scan to cut data. All right, let's do nope let's just do a black and gray so this kind of hurries along. I'll come back when this scans itself in. Okay so I have this all in here we'll just go for the outline of it. Okay so let's hit save and I'll show you what it brings up. Maybe. Okay. For me, because I have the two, um, it allows me to save in all four of these places. Okay. Um, and when I do that, it will save as an FCM. So it'll save to the machine um, through wireless to the USB stick and then through USB cording. Um, which for me right here, that I can take into Canvas or into SCAL uh, via the uh, FCM to SVG uh, changer thingy, the conversion tool that we have um, on our group page. Um, so that's how you do that. But we can also save it as a JPEG. And I'll show you how. Oh, so used to hitting that one. <clears throat> scan to USB. The scanned image <clears throat> will save as a JPEG file. Okay, so if you need it to be saved as a picture file, because that's what JPEG stand for is a picture file. If you need it saved as that, then scan to your USB. Okay, so that is saved as one. So let's come back out here and let's go into pattern and see if it'll even bring it up. Yep, right here. So that's an image and that's your JPEG image because it will not open on the screen. It is not an FCM, it is not a PEZ, and it is not an SVG. It is a JPEG, so it will not open on the scan and cut. See? Okay. So I just wanted to let you all know that because we've had quite a few questions on that. So that's how you can save either an FCM or you can save it as a JPEG. Have a good day, guys.